Hey everybody, it's Patrick here from One Shot Kill It Media, and today I've got another unboxing and feature review for you. This time, to give you a little clue, I've got a uh, pocket full of these right here, and Joe Biden would approve. <laughs> but to get started, uh, if you haven't figured it out yet or if you don't read titles, uh, we've got ourselves a combination AK-57 Uzi Radar Laser Double Barrel Over Under Heat Seeking Shotgun, also known as the Benton Soli X-Trail Light. <laughs> All that other bullshit, it's, yeah, it's bullshit. This is just an over under shotgun, uh, brake barrel style, and uh, it's a 12 gauge. So we'll go ahead and pop this open. Looks like a beautiful gun, so let's go ahead and uh, break it down a little bit for you. Here we go. All right, folks, here we go. So we've got the Benton Soli on the table here. We're gonna go ahead and pop it open. Again, this is the X-Trail Light. So let's go ahead and just pop this box open for you. All right, here we go. And let's take a look at what we've got. So I'm just gonna push this up a little bit just so you can see it. All right, so we've got the actual shotgun itself here. It's broken down. And then we have, looks like a little guidebook set here. Information on probably assembly, safe usage, etc. And then we also have a little Bet and Sully box. So in the box itself, Let's take a look. Yep. We've got some chokes in there and a little tool for adjusting those chokes. And next, we'll start taking a look up close at the actual shotgun itself. So let's go ahead and zoom in. All right, folks, here we go. So let's start taking a closer look at everything. So to start with, we've got the stock portion here of the shotgun. Got some nice checkering here as well near the grip. Zoom in a little bit, make sure you can see all that. Got a recoil pad here on the back of the stock as well. And then let's uh, swap over here so you can see the trigger. One of the cool things I really like about the, uh, the Benton Sola here is some of the intricate work that they're doing. I mean, obviously this isn't hand engraved, this is laser engraved. But uh, wow, it looks freaking awesome. I can tell you that much. Just so everybody can see it. Now, when it comes to operation, we've got the safety, obviously. And then depending on if you have it shifted to the left or shifted to the right, will determine which barrel um, actually goes off first. So I believe let me double check this in the in the specs here but i believe if it's to the right the uh, top barrel goes first and then the bottom barrel after that on the uh, second trigger pull but i'll verify that for us but again let's just get a closer look at everything that we've got going on here let's get you a little close-up view here of this so obviously, it's a Benton Sully. <laughs> and then again, this is the X-Trail Light model. And overall, I mean, the shotgun itself is very, very lightweight. This is something that you could definitely walk around out in a field hunting with all day. Looks nicely made too. So let's take a look at the barrel portion here. All right, so obviously, again, this is an over-under. Got a little bead sight right up front here. We'll see if we can get that to focus. Nice, there we go. And this is actually checkered here on top as well, so that'll eliminate any sort of glare that you get trying to find your bead when you're hunting. We've got the foregrip here on the rifle, <laughs> not on the rifle, we've got the foregrip of the shotgun here, and this detaches. Now you need to take this off when you're gonna attach it to the other portion of the shotgun. I just wanted you to take a look at this too. This is really nice jewel work. This just looks really slick. I really like it. You can see the extractors here. Let's give you a look down the tube. And these are smooth. Let's see if we can get that to zoom in. So, all right. And on here we can see 
12 gauge is the caliber. We've got a little bit more of that intricate laser work, which is nice. On here too, we can see we've got the Benton Sully made in Italy. Now this gun will take two and uh, three quarter inch shells or three inch shells. And then obviously it says read the owner's manual before using the gun. A little bit more engraving work here on the barrel. Just overall nice looking. I mean this looks like a shotgun that would be a, a little bit more expensive than what it is. And obviously again some of that plays into the laser engraving, not hand crafting of the, uh, the engraving itself. But wow, either way it sure does look sharp. Let's take a look at this foregrip here. Get zoomed in on that. Alright, so again you can see the engraving on here, that's really nice. And what you do when you assemble the gun itself, you actually take this, raise it up, and then you push down on top up here a little bit, so you just push it down and forward. And that goes ahead and it releases the foregrip here off the actual barrel assembly. So let's just go ahead and show you what that looks like on the inside here. So again, we've got on the outer edge of it, we've got the little release tab. If I can get it to focus in, there we go. So that releases just like that. And this is what it's looking like on the inside. And you can see where that release allows that to come off. A little bit more laser engraving work on there. Overall, very nice looking. Impressive. Let's go ahead and uh, assemble the shotgun itself too, just so you can take a look at it and see what you think. All right, folks, so in terms of assembly, we're just going to set our two halves together here. Place them in there just so it can balance. And then I'll slowly push this up so you can see how those extractors go in. And then it locks tight. And you can see your release snaps back and that shows you that it's put together there. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is put the foregrip back on too. All right. Now when it comes to putting the foregrip on, you're going to want to make sure that you line it up here and get it to basically form into this portion so you're not scratching the metal up on either side. There we go. So we get that to lock in and as you can see I just have my finger against pulling against this tab here on the foregrip and then what we'll do is we'll release that and push down against the barrel and now that's installed. And you can see that this portion went back down like it should. This is nice and tight on the side here. There's no gap. And we can just break it open. Now this is going to be pretty stiff. This is brand new. But again, just beautifully done. I really, really, really like the look of this. And uh, yeah, overall just a really cool looking shotgun in general. Let's go ahead and just highlight the, the safety here again too in the operation of that. And again, side to side selects which, your, uh, which barrel is going to fire first. And then the up and down is obviously your safety. Breaking the barrel open, push all the way to the side. That allows it to drop open. The extractors themselves are right here and I don't have any snap caps so unfortunately I don't have anything that would actually uh, toss out here for us um, but just to show you what a shell looks like in there and yes these are live shells but just to give you a look at what they look like and as we come down with this you can see how they get basically sucked in there and ready to go. There we go. So we're closed up, empty again. 
And uh, let's go ahead and give you a little bit of a wider angle view of this so you can see the entire shotgun. All right, folks, so in terms of other features, I'm not sure if you saw it before or not. I'm trying to make it really easy to see, given the lighting here. But you do have that space in between the barrels for heat dissipation, so that's nice too. Uh, even if you're, you know, you're not popping 100 rounds off in a second with a, uh, an over-under, but at the same point, you know, a gun's a gun and it will heat up. So this is nice that they actually included that feature there. So, very nice. Um, again, just to give you a look at it from a different angle, that actual brake barrel and those extractors. Again, it's pretty tight right now, just given the fact that it's brand new. Um, but slick gun, I'm liking it. All right, so in general, you don't really want to dry fire these all that much. Um, but I just want to go ahead and give you an example of, you know, the actual action working. And uh, let's go ahead and just get that on camera for you quick. So I'm going to go ahead and lean into the shot here. So that's shot one. Shot two. So a very smooth and clean break. All right. So just so you can see, a little bit of wobble on that trigger. Side to side, not a whole lot going on, but a little bit of play and shot. And another shot. So smooth overall though. Nice gun. Can't really complain about that. Now, from the research that I've done, most of the Benton Sullys are going to come with a 28-inch or a 30-inch barrel. Um, for this one, though, it seems like it's still going to be shorter than that, and I'm not sure if it's just because it's the light version or if it's like a youth model of some sort. So I'm just going to measure it out here, and obviously it's empty. That's why I'm putting my hands in front of the muzzle. Um, let's take a look. There we go. All right, so yeah. It's coming in at about 26 inches is what we're measuring out at. So again, most of what I've seen from Benton Sully, we're going to have a 30 inch or a 28 inch barrel. This one here, we do have a 26 inch. And again, that is the X Trail light model. So not sure if it's just because it's the light model or if, uh, if this is just like a smaller version. Either way, Obviously, you remove some of that barrel length and so on, and that is going to take away some of the weight from the gun itself. So, either way, I like it so far, and I uh, can't wait to put some rounds through it. All right, folks, so just a cool feature I want you to take notice of. When we go ahead and release it to break the gun open, that'll automatically push your safety to safe. Pretty sure you can see that. I'm going to do it one more time. All right, and let's get real zoomed in up close to it just so you can see for sure. All right, so just so you can see right now, we're ready to fire. We're gonna release to break it open. Make sure we're zoomed in here. And it actually puts it on safe for us. So that way when we're breaking that barrel open, we know for sure we're on safe. Again, another cool feature from the Benton Sully X-Trail Lite. Very nice looking gun. All right, folks, here we go. So this is just giving you a look at the, uh, the entire assembled shotgun here, just so you can see what it looks like. Again, overall, just a nice looking piece. Pretty impressive. Um, in terms of you know size and everything like that, I'll see if I can back up a little bit here. This is just holding it right next to me. And I mean, this is not a, a huge shotgun by any means. Easy enough to swing around in the field, uh, bring it up quick if you need to. I mean, obviously you're shooting pheasants or grouse or something like that. Really easy to work with. Raise it up, boom, boom. There you go. So again, nice looking shotgun. Little stiff on the brake right now, but I'll expect that to loosen up after some usage and everything over time. 
but just have to say overall beautifully made shotgun and uh yeah i think it's pretty impressive i'm excited to go ahead and get some rounds through it hopefully i'll be able to do that soon and uh yeah we'll go shoot some clays and everything like that we'll get it on video for you um, do a little you know just a little bit of everything with it and just see how everything holds up and uh, what you could expect from it if you were to make this purchase all right folks thank you again for tuning in i really appreciate it and uh, as always if you can please go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, it helps us out a lot we always want to go ahead and grow our subscriber base so we can continue to create relationships with different companies like benton sully here um, which provides products for us to actually review and uh, to make sure that you know it's something that you actually want to purchase before you spend your hard-earned money on it. We'll do in-depth reviews, feature reviews, range reviews, testing, etc. Uh, to make sure that it's worthwhile to you. Uh, again, follow on Facebook, uh, follow on Instagram, you know, anything you can do to help us out in that social realm, to share the videos, share them with your friends. If you hear somebody thinking, oh hey, I'm thinking about buying that shotgun, or I want an over-under shotgun, or hey, you know, just like anything else that we work on, uh, we're looking at this optic or that optic, share the video. Uh, if you see somebody talking about it on social media, say, hey, here's the video that I saw at One Shot Kill at Media. Um, all those things help us grow and in turn give us the opportunity to bring products like this one to you uh, again to make sure that it's going to meet your needs um, as you spend your hard-earned money on it. So thanks again for tuning in, everybody. As always, really appreciate it. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take this beast out onto the range and uh, see what we can all do with it. I'm really excited for it. Looks very well made. Uh, I like the intricate design here with the laser engraving overall. So really think Benton Sully did a great job with this. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like when we're shooting some clays with it and a little bit more. So <laughs> thanks again for tuning in, folks. Have a great day, and we'll see you a little later.